So I'm actually kind of excited about today's video because this has probably been uh, one of the most commented, one of the most referenced uh, things on the channel. So regardless of what cooling thing I'm doing, if it's uh, building a box where ice air is blown through at a cooler or water cooling an air cooler, just reviewing a cooler, there's always a comment that says, how does this perform next to the NHD15? And I'm like, <laughs> couldn't tell you, never used one. Well, today that changes because Noctua has sent over an NHD15 and we're gonna take a look at it today and find out is it really the gold standard that everybody says it is? I will say I've actually never seen one of these in person, um, strangely enough, considering how popular they are, but let's just, let's just see what we got. I assume that our mounting hardware is here. What is this? Oh, it looks like the cooler itself and uh, another fan. I think that's all we got there. Yes, sir. That is a big, it's a big cooler. I'm not gonna lie. That is uh, quite massive. The fans though, the fans are ridiculous. It's gotta do a pretty good job cooling with a fan this size, Jesus. I will say it is <laughs> quite thick, this, this cooler. It probably does a great job, but I will say increasing the fan size on something like this has really made them kind of ugly, more ugly, more apparently ugly. But given the popularity of the NHD15, there's something you can do about it. And I will say something that you probably haven't heard before. Uh, Noctua makes some pretty good looking components for this and they sent me some. So as you probably guessed, these are from the Chromax series and this is of course a fan that we're gonna start out with. So as you can see here, this fan is a nice black color to take the place of this nice beige fan. And you get all these nice little corner pieces to add little color accents to the cooler. But wait, but wait, there's more. These are actually quite cool. So if you remember all the scythe reviews I did, I always praised them for how nice they make their heat sinks. Well, you know, these just look like heat sinks. And for an air cooler, what do you look at the most? Well, you look at the top of the heat sinks. Well, Noctua has got you covered too. So they sell these covers. And these things are actually really, really cool. So as you can see here, the first one to open up is a white. So they offer this in white, black, and then there's like a black with a interchangeable um, inside. So installing these covers is actually really easy. Inside you have a magnetic coupler and that basically sits over top of your heat sink like so you use the heat pipes to help guide you in position and then you got these clips that slide over two of the cooling fins and then over the top to hold it in place and then you just simply take your cover and voila you just set it right down and it just changes everything about the cooler and just gives it such a much just cleaner look i really like the white i don't know why white is really reflective too. So you need to throw white in an RGB case. It's gonna be whatever color you want it to look like. So I think that is just phenomenal. Good job at Noctua on making something that looks good. Uh, yeah, looks amazing. So I will say something you probably haven't heard before, this uh, Noctua cooler looks really, really good. I really like how the white covers and the black fans contrast. I also put the white bumpers on the fans just to make them look like they fit in just a little better. And I just really, really like how it looks. And I think the white will reflect RGB really well inside my case if that's somewhere I decide to use it. They also do come with two additional ones. So this is an all black with a center changeable piece. So there's just a piece of uh, plastic in the back here that you can change out. I uh, have white in there now, you can go blue, black, green, purple, I mean, whatever color you could throw in there. You, I mean, it comes with an assortment of green, yellow, red, blue, you know, all the good stuff. And then you just have a straight black one that's kind of like the white ones. And changing them is pretty easy. So if you have more than one, you want to change your look, you pop one off, you pick the one you want to take its place, and you just slide it back down. It's all magnetically held on, so there you go. Easy peasy, ready to go. 
Change the look of it, five seconds. So Noctua also sells these uh, sleeved cables. So I have the white ones here, an extension and a splitter. Um, you can get these also in the same colors as you get the inserts for this and also the same colors the pads come in. Um, white, blue, all the good colors. I have the white ones here because that's what I'm gonna be using today and there you go. I mean, it's weird enough to say it, but this looks really good. Uh, but that's not why we're here. We're here not because this is a good looking cooler now. We're here because you guys said this thing is like the best air cooler you could possibly get. And I wanna see, I wanna see if that's true. So we're gonna put it on the test bench, fire it up, see how it does compared to all the other cooler we've tested. And if it does good enough, maybe we'll put it in my daily driving rig. So time's up, the scores are in, and many of you that have probably used an NHD 15 before probably had an expectation on how well it was gonna do. I myself had no idea um, how good it was gonna be because I've never used one, but after seeing the scores, to say I'm impressed is a bit of an understatement. So today's room temperature is a bit warmer. We're sitting at 25.8 degrees. We had an idle temperature on this thing of 43.5, but the average package temperature after 30 minutes of Prime 95 was only 63.9, meaning we had a delta of 38.1, meaning that now when you look at every other cooler we've tested on this platform, this is now second place. And it's only second place to the uh, EK custom water cooling solution, which is only ahead of it by a little bit. So meaning that this air cooler is almost as good as a 240 millimeter custom water cooling loop. Third place is still the NHU-12A, so say what you want about Noctua, they might not always know how to make things look good, but they definitely know how to cool a CPU. So maybe we'll get uh, lucky, they'll get the NHU-12A, the Chromax treatment, so we can get that thing looking even better than it does now. This this looks good. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I I'm not really a big fan of Noctua's brown and beige, but I like this. I like the black and the white. Uh, it just looks good, and I think that see after seeing these numbers, I want to put this in my actual daily driving computer and give it a go because I've been using the Kraken X62 for quite a while, and it is it's a good cooler, but it's not very quiet. This thing is actually pretty quiet as well. So I think with these performance numbers, these acoustics. And now, surprisingly enough, uh, these looks, I think I wanna put this in that computer and see how it runs every day, so that's what we're gonna do now. Well, I've switched over to air cooling. Unfortunately, you've probably noticed that's not the NHD15. Uh, the D15 doesn't actually fit in the S340 Elite case, which I wish I would've found out uh, a little sooner than I did. But I do have the NHU12A, which is what I put in there. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look quite as good as the D15 because there's no Chromex parts for the U12A yet. Um, hopefully they will show up eventually and I will be able to check them out and when I do I'll make sure to let you guys know. So thank you for watching this is Major Hardware. Make sure to get subscribed if you're not yet like this video and let me know down below what's your favorite method of cooling and favorite cooler. Are you AIO, custom water cooling or an air cooler guy, gal? Let me know down below and we'll see you in the next one.